Morning Prayer for Wednesday the 2nd of December O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Reveal among us the light of your presence, that we may behold your power and glory. Blessed are you, Sovereign God of all, to you be praise and glory for ever. In your tender compassion, the dawn from on high is breaking upon us to dispel the lingering shadows of night. As we look for your coming among us this day, open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. The earth is the Lord's and all that fills it the compass of the world and all who dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas and set it firm upon the rivers of the deep. Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord? Or who can rise up in his holy place? Those who have clean hands and a pure heart, who have not lifted up their soul to an idol nor sworn an oath to a lie, they shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a just reward from the God of their salvation. Such is the company of those who seek him, of those who seek your face, O God of Jacob. Lift up your heads, O gates, be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty, the Lord who is mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O gates, be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. You, O Lord, will bless the righteous. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my lamentation. Hearken to the voice of my crying, my King and my God. For to you I make my prayer. In the morning, Lord, you will hear my voice. Early in the morning I will make my appeal to you and look up. For you are the God who takes no pleasure in wickedness. No evil can dwell with you. You, O Lord, will bless the righteous. The boastful cannot stand in your sight. You hate all those that work wickedness. You destroy those who speak lies. The bloodthirsty and deceitful the Lord will abhor. But as for me, through the greatness of your mercy, I will come into your house. I will bow down towards your holy temple in awe of you. You, O Lord, will bless the righteous. Lead me, Lord, in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make your way straight before my face. For there is no truth in their mouth. In their heart is destruction. Their throat is an open sepulchre, and they flatter with their tongue. Punish them, O God. Let them fall through their own devices. Because of their many transgressions, cast them out. For they have rebelled against you. You, O Lord, will bless the righteous. But let all who take refuge in you be glad. Let them sing out their joy for ever. You will shelter them, so that those who love your name may exult in you. 
for you, O Lord, will bless the righteous. And with your favour you will defend them as with a shield. You, O Lord, will bless the righteous. Lord, protect us from the deceit of flattering tongues and lying lips. Give us words of life which speak your name, speak your truth and bless your name. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Give judgment for me according to my righteousness, O God. O Lord my God, in you I take refuge. Save me from all who pursue me and deliver me. Lest they rend me like a lion and tear me in pieces. While there is no one to help me. O Lord my God, if I have done these things if there is any wickedness in my hands, if I have repaid my friend with evil or plundered my enemy without a cause, then let my enemy pursue me and overtake me, trample my life to the ground and lay my honour in the dust. Give judgment for me according to my righteousness, O God. Rise up, O Lord, in your wrath, Lift yourself up against the fury of my enemies. Awaken, my God, the judgment that you have commanded. Let the assembly of the peoples gather round you. Be seated high above them, O Lord, judge the nations. Give judgment for me according to my righteousness, O Lord, and according to the innocence that is in me. Let the malice of the wicked come to an end, but establish the righteous. For you test the mind and heart, O righteous God. Give judgment for me according to my righteousness, O Lord. God is my shield that is over me. He saves the true of heart. God is a righteous judge. He is provoked all day long. If they will not repent, God will whet his sword. He has bent his bow and made it ready. He has prepared the weapons of death. He makes his arrows shafts of fire. Give judgment for me according to my righteousness, O Lord. Behold those who are in labour with wickedness, who conceive evil and give birth to lies. They dig a pit and make it deep, and fall into the hole that they have made for others. Their mischief rebounds on their own head. Their violence falls on their own scalp. I will give thanks to the Lord for his righteousness, and I will make music to the name of the Lord Most High. Give judgment for me according to my righteousness, O Lord. Lord, your justice turns evil on itself. Move us to examine our hearts and repent of all duplicity for the sake of Jesus Christ, our judge and righteous Saviour. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Lift up your voice with strength, O herald of good tidings. The wilderness and the dry land shall rejoice. The desert shall blossom and burst into song. They shall see the glory of the Lord, the majesty of our God. Strengthen the weary hands and make firm the feeble knees. Say to the anxious, be strong, fear not, Your God is coming with judgment, coming with judgment to save you. Then shall the eyes of the blind be opened, and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then shall the lame leap like a heart, and the tongue of the dumb sing for joy. For waters shall break forth in the wilderness, and streams in the desert. The ransomed of the Lord shall return with singing. 
with everlasting joy upon their heads. Joy and gladness shall be theirs, and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Lift up your voice with strength, O herald of good tidings. A reading from the book of Revelation. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne, saying, See, the home of God is among mortals. He will dwell with them, they will be his peoples, and God himself will be with them. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. Death shall be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more, for the first things have passed away. And the one who was seated on the throne said, See, I am making all things new. Also he said, Write this, for these words are trustworthy and true. Then he said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give water as a gift from the spring of the water of life. Those who conquer will inherit these things, and I will be their God, and they will be my children. But as for the cowardly, the faithless, the polluted, the murderers, the fornicators, the sorcerers, the idolaters, and all liars, their place will be in the lake that burns with fire and sulphur, which is the second death. Now it is time to awake out of sleep, for the night is far spent and the day is at hand. Now is our salvation nearer than when we first believed, for the night is far spent. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and put on the armour of light, for the day is at hand. Put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh, for the night is far spent and the day is at hand. Look towards the east, O Jerusalem and see the glory that is coming from God. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Look towards the east, O Jerusalem, and see the glory that is coming from God. Let us pray. Watchful at all times, let us pray for strength to stand with confidence before our Maker and Redeemer. That God may bring in his kingdom with justice and mercy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. 
that God may establish among the nations his scepter of righteousness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we may seek Christ in the Scriptures and recognize him in the breaking of the bread, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That God may bind up the brokenhearted, restore the sick, and raise up all who have fallen, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That the light of God's coming may dawn on all who live in darkness and the shadow of death, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That with all the saints in light we may shine forth as lights for the world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Let us commend the world which Christ will judge to the mercy and protection of God. Almighty God, give us grace to cast away the works of darkness and to put on the armour of light, now in the time of this mortal life, in which your Son Jesus Christ came to us in great humility, that on the last day, when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge the living and the dead, we may rise to the life immortal, through him who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and for ever. Amen. Awaiting his coming in glory, let us play, pray with confidence, as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.